Hi, welcome back to our series on metrics. In today's video, we shall learn about the meaning of metric subtraction. Before we do that, let's do a recap on how do we subtract a matrix from another matrix. Here we are given two, two matrices, matrix A and matrix B, and we want to find out the difference between A and B. So how do we do it? If you remember from our earlier video, we identify the corresponding elements and subtract them from each other. So in this case, A11 which is 8, B11 which is 2, so 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 minus 3, B3, 3 minus 1 which is 2, 3 minus 3 is 0, 5 minus 2 which would be 3 again and 9 minus 8 which is 1. So this gives us A minus B. Now though we have learned the mechanics we also need to understand what this operation means and where do we use it. Let's do that with an example. Now consider this example. We are given two matrices matrix 1 the one which I have underlined gives the number of boys and number of girls in class 11 and 12 in a school okay and matrix B which is the second one gives the number of boys and number of girls in class 11 and 12 who play a sport who are part of a school team of some games now, if somebody wants to find out the number of boys and girls that are there in the class who don't play any game in class 11 and 12, how do we find out? Obviously, we just need to take the number of boys, the total number of boys in class 11 and subtract the total number of boys in class 11 who are also players. If we do that, we will get the number of boys in class 11 who do not play any game. That's straight, right? So if we do it, what do we get? A, we get 30 minus 25, which is 5. Girls, total number of girls in class 11, and total number of players who are girls in class 11 is 15. So the difference between them will give another 5. Boys in class 12 is 20, and boys who are players in class 12 is 18. So the non players would be 20 minus 18, which is 2. Similarly, girls in class 12 and players who are girls in class 12 is 19. So 20 minus 19, which would be 1, which will give the girls, number of girls in class 12 who do not play any game. So the result would be something like this. So there are 5 boys in class 11 who do not play any game and there are five girls in class 11 who do not play any games. Similarly, there are two boys in class 12 who do not play any games and there is one girl in class 12 who do not play any games. This, in effect, is the meaning of matrix subtraction. Now, I guess you know where to use matrix subtraction and also how to interpret the result that comes. Keep watching MathSmart. Subscribe to MathSmart to know when we post a new video. Thank you.